okay, very good. Good morning and welcome to episode 1426 of Hard Factor. It is Monday, March 25th, 2024. Thank you for cheating on the news with us. 80-ish percent accuracy guaranteed on this podcast. Everything you need to know in 40 minutes or less. But if you need more, go to patreon.com slash hard factor. Today, Mark's got very important global updates all the bad ones but ripping the band-aid off fast today okay yeah don't sugarcoat it i just have the worst news to start off your week it's just gonna be ter- it's gonna be horrible horrible well, terrible yeah but it's like the band-aid effect right we're sure. just gonna rip it off quick and then the rest of the week's gonna be great he don't up. get much better from there will yeah exactly yeah like pat no it does it has to it has to get much better from after my stories slightly yeah. Slight, but yeah, but you're relieved it's over quickly. Uh, Pat's got uh, more on insurance markets being completely out of control on deck. You might want to listen up if you're a coastal elitist, which includes you too, Florida, whether you like it or not. But mostly Whoa. California, you're effed. Was that two words or one, Will, when you said more on insurance? Like, m- like more on no. or more on? Oh, Could I guess been... all insurance, is kind of, except for life insurance, is more on insurance. Right. Unintentional pun, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't mean it, Mark, but I'm glad it came out that way. Uh, Wes has demons and zombies in the hole for us. Yeah, the very disturbing video coming out of California uh, that I'm going to play for you guys. Wow. Yeah. Wow, you know that in your satanic group chat? Yes. California demon on such so a have, winter's day. Satanism. We, sh- and in- we share insurance. all the disgusting videos on that chat. It's awesome. <laughs> Just none of <laughs> a lot of Bible burnings. I don't have to seek them out anymore. That's, yeah, that's where you go. <laughs> Your face is a death chat. Yeah. <laughs> um, nice. I've got some fun facts featuring uh, one about America's most famous police officer in 2023. So think I about think that know, for a little I bit. I think I know who that is. Oh, do you? Yeah. I think several Maybe people. So. Or intimate with McGrath. that person. Um, I, so uh, let's just let's go. Let's do the news. We have so much to do, uh, mm-hmm. and I am going to get to that really horrible news soon. But first, some good news. Did you know that even if you have a four hundred one k for retirement, you could still have an IRA. Robinhood has the only IRA that gives you a three percent boost on every dollar you contribute when you subscribe to Robinhood Gold. But get this: now through April thirtieth, Robinhood is even, is even boosting every single dollar you transfer in from other retirement accounts with a three percent match. That's right. No cap on the 3% match. Robinhood Gold gets you the most for your retirement thanks to their IRA with a 3% match. This offer is good through April 30th. Get started at Robinhood.com slash boost. Subscription fees apply. And now for some legal info, uh, as of claim as of Q1 2024 validated by Radius Global Market Research, investing involves risk, including loss. Limitations apply to IRAs and 401ks. 3% match requires Robinhood Gold for one year from the date of the first 3% match. Must keep Robinhood IRA for five years. The 3% matching on transfers is subject to specific terms and conditions. Robinhood IRA available to U.S. customers in good standing. Robinhood Financial LLC is a registered broker dealer. Okay, mm-hmm. so got horrible news from the weekend. Turns out, Kate Middleton is alive. That's good news, but she has cancer. That's bad news. Yeah, I feel like a dick now. Had no that one, was one of the main it. guesses. Had no right? one guess it. Was it? No, was it? Really? I feel like we definitely. What? W- like we? Everybody knew that the images were AI, right? So there was a reason that she wasn't wanting to be in public. I think one of the main things we said is she probably didn't feel like being because of the treatment from her surgery. Um, I mean, we titled the episode like, you know, Beatty. Oh, I, I don't mean y'all. everybody was wondering about that. I would have been I, slightly I, less talk about the world if I thought she had cancer. Well, it's because sure. they started spreading the rumor that that, that uh, William was fucking some other chick. And that was yeah. the reason. And and then no, nope, that could all be true. Cancer. Right. But I mean, that doesn't mean like it, that's still on the table. She's got cancer, though. That was like, yeah. It, like, they're, they're, look, they put out the fake AI pictures because she's not ready to be in public. Right. They weren't AI. So, they were photoshopped. Right. I mean, did you see his hands in the one William's hands? That had to have been fake. That was not a real. Fake, right? That was not a real picture they put. Fake out. photo. No way. Yeah. Fake no photo. Way. <laughs> That's because she was resting from from chemo. Um, she announced uh, she had cancer yeah. in a somber two camera video. Uh, oh, I te- she looks so much like she has cancer in that picture. I know. And then the word "my treatment" too. And then, um, 
Mm -hmm. I texted the Hard Factor group thread on Friday when her video dropped, and intern Jackson immediately responded with source, question mark, uh, and I responded that uh, the source is Pete Middleton. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Well, can you tell, though? That's the thing. They're talking about that blockchain signature on, like, all political shit, which is, like, probably the most – the first practical application of blockchain I've heard of because mm. of your concern about AI. Well, also on city records. Blockchain's great on city records. That's true. That's For the true. record, if I'm ever in a group chat with you – I'm probably going to be 80 percent accurate like i'm on the show but i'm going to be closer to 100 percent accurate when i text that someone has cancer uh not not sure exactly what she's facing in terms of the type of cancer or or stage she's in but she's undergoing chemo uh, and she now joins king charles who announced he had prostate cancer last month fuck cancer right terrible terrible is she, is she gonna have a bald head soon i know that's it's possible what if she's hot though like gi jane they i mean she's gonna she's an attractive wear. woman She's very attractive. She, I'm sure she'll wear a, a, a very nice wig. And I hope William, I hope none of the rumors are true. I'm just saying, yeah, just because this is how the crown rolls. Like there's all kinds of smoke and mirrors everywhere, right? They're, they're throwing yeah. you off with all kinds of information, correct and not. They've proven that over the years. And so this one, though, with the, cheating on your yeah, cancer yeah. wife is tough. Yeah, that's a, that's a bad. Look. I hope that's not lot, true. That's what I'm saying. A lot but, of like, people cheat on their cancer wives. Happens that's more like, than you think. It's sad. It's, yeah, it's it, not it's not such a rare thing to cheat on a cancer wife. It's harder for them to keep tabs on you when they're dealing with a cancer. Sure um, so speaking of other shitty cancer, when it messes up their vision and their yeah. cognitive abilities. No, you were you were sleeping. I was of, here the whole time. Appointments too. Speaking it wasn't exactly me. Busy. Yeah, yeah. It speaking like of me. Other shitty cancer news. The Women's Cancer Fund, a charity, is being sued by the FTC in 10 states. The Women's Cancer Fund promised that the vast majority of the funds donated to them would go to paying for the living expenses of women going through treatment for cancer. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but it's looking like, and the lawsuit is alleging, that uh, that only about one cent per dollar went to cancer patients. And 99% oh. of the $18.3 million raised through donations went to the charity's president and was used for profit. Wow, that's a little different than no than the normal con. So the normal con uh, of like a nonprofit is well, first of all, you can take like probably two hundred grand per like president of the of the thing, but then also you can kind of funnel money. Like we were looking at that uh that 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 profit or that nonprofit that supposedly like funds young mothers who are about to get an abortion with threatening yes uh, um, videos. Yes. Yeah. Most of the money was fun was funneled around. It didn't just go straight to one person. That's you're going to get caught that way. Right. You like subcontract out and then probably yes, go exactly. to PACs a lot. You, you send yep. them into PACs. Yeah. Um, now, this one just went 800K a year to Gregory Anderson, the president of the Women's Cancer Fund, who's not even a woman to his salary. Wow, Gregory. His salary. Nice work, Gregory. Uh, and then the $15.5 million to his buddies that were ripping off those stupid bleeding heart idiots you this this mm. does happen though for sure i mean it happens every once in a while it you, you're right pat usually um non-profit uh scammers are a little bit more wise and try to figure out how to get you know be less hot about it but you do see this all the time i, I, mean, I grew up my parents in the non-profit right. world i saw people th this would happen like they would get millions of dollars in grants and then turns out they just paid it all themselves it's, it's greedy though because like i mean a 200k salary is pretty nice if you're especially not doing anything to earn it, I think that's maybe where the cap is right. legally, right? So well, why not it's just eight hundred k is what he was paying. That's right, right. It's greedy. Eventually, you get audited, right? So like, or or you have to submit some type of report to the government. Whoever's giving you this money, usually there's some type of reporting mechanism back. So people are going to eventually find out. to catch them though, will and they've already got their money and yeah. things you can't get it back from i'm yeah, thinking about right. starting a charity though and making it clear in all the messaging that 99 percent is going to me that would be fine i think you could call you it like 99 percent me you wouldn't raise money though well so i know like, i know but no there's some idiots i'd be like 99 percent me one percent starving kids and then plaster a bunch of pictures of starving kids it's just an only fans business yeah i mean where you where you swear to donate one percent well i think i don't know i think i could sleep have to lose a lot of weight though mark because like if it blew up and you were even slightly overweight and you weren't giving money to starving kids, even though you were overt about it. And then people were like, well, this guy's fat. Then you're really in trouble. Like, oh, I like mean, that's who, a really bad look. If starving kids is your choice. Who better to give money to starving kids than a fat guy, though? What are you, what are you talking about? But if you're not actually. Well, yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, right. Well, no, it's 99 side, I'm, giving one I'm giving 1% to the starving kids. Great con. Kids. I love yeah. the con. All right. Anyways, um, some other horrible news. <laughs> a How whole 1%. Yeah, check it out. What are you? What are you giving? 
Huh? <laughs> some other some other big news. Give, That's give their you, mentality man. every time, though. What what have you done? I deserve all the millions. Right? Exactly. That's right, yeah. Wes. I'm just being honest about it. Yeah. Some other big news was the insanely horrific shooting in Russia at an indoor concert hall where several ar- armed men with machine guns, knives, and I think they were in like camouflage, I'm not sure, opened fire on concert goers, killing about 150 people at the time of this recording and injuring hundreds of others. Just horrible. Horrible stuff, yeah. The concert hall shooting in Moscow. Now, and now it's like huge frog of war situation with this new ISIS branch, and then everybody is trying to basically claim who controls it, and everybody's saying it in much different directions. Right, that's right. I thought ISIS it was Ukrainian dudes that carried out this. Uh, that's what Russia's saying, Wes. And then now it's every now it's it's everybody's got everybody's got so a different three, explanation. Here's the main players. ISIS ended up claiming to be behind the attack. Putin says it was Ukraine or Ukraine funded. And some unnamed officials are saying it was Tajikistani men with machine guns. Uh, right. Tajik, Tajikistan and Ukraine have vehemently like denied any involvement. And ISIS is just bebopping in Scott and saying, it was us. Right, but this right. particular branch of ISIS, that's the thing. There's like multiple branches, right? And yeah. so these ones, a lot of the guys the captured, they had the ear to the one guy before the video got deleted. And so a lot of them are saying, we got paid 500,000 ru- rubles to, to carry this out. And so there's all these conspiracy theories now back and forth about who controls this branch of ISIS that's doing these attacks on Iran, Iran, Russia. Um, and I think that the Taliban is their other main target, this particular branch. Uh, they like, say, well, no, their main target's Christians. Rock. They made that clear. They said death to all Christians. There were so many Christians at the Russian rock concert. Gross. Uh, Just like in Iran where they attacked too. I mean, it's, it, they, yeah, I mean, it seems like death to where, who pays us to do it. The, right. the, Russia did detain four foreigners and released footage of them dragging those bastards into what what will surely be several rounds of torture. One of the guys had a black eye and they all looked like scared shitless. Not sure if it's just four Ukrainian men they found or what, but Putin has fa- vowed vengeance and uh, somebody or somebody's getting the Navalny treatment. Uh, well, they already did. They strapped a um, a car battery uh, with with electrical connectors to one of the guy's nut sacks yeah. right on the street it's there. Culprits because they deserve it. But cut off the ear of one of the other guys and fed it to him in public. Yeah. Ooh, wild. Eat shit. it. Hey, can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, they were definitely saying that in Russian. I don't know. How <laughs> you said, but you gonna bark all day, little dog? Here, you gonna bite? Oh, oh, terrible news. Uh, last bit of bad news to start your Monday. They found the body of Missouri student, 22 year old Riley Strain, who had been missing the past two weeks after last being seen getting kicked out of Luke Bryan's Nashville bar. And guess where they found his body? In the river. In, in the bar. river. In, a, in the river, the Cumberland River. Horrible news. Terrible for Riley's family and friends. 22, it's tragic. Uh, what's with all these drunk students and 20-somethings ending up dead in Rivers, Lakes, et cetera? Chicago and Austin knows what I'm talking about. All right, I, Easy I targets. Got, yeah. I got a quick theory here. I went on the uh, the Delaware River with a buddy of mine's dad who grew up on the Delaware. Been going there his entire life, now lives there on the river. And I, you know, you're a man. <laughs> you're on a boat on a river. Before you know it, the conversation goes to you think you could swim across this river. And he said, I'll tell you what, you can't. Absolutely not. And uh, then he proceeded to tell me how many times in his 60, 70 years on that river, he's seen dudes be like, tell you what, I bet you I could swim across that river. And then I've tried and then I had to be rescued or drowned. Right. It's a thing. This and kid think, was oh, by yeah, himself. All, all rivers. A lot of these people yeah. are by themselves and probably not talking to the air saying i bet you i can swim across that it was river. also like eight miles away from where they last saw him right yeah, guys totally okay weird. i'm just the rivers are usually rivers because they're big enough to kill that doesn't look that's like, like a the... river challenge swimmer he right. was hammered you could tell in the last video of him he was like stumbly he was he was doing like the cartoon drunk walk also, they're susceptible there was also a recent story out of atlanta we didn't end up covering at the time where young men mainly white were saying they were getting drugged in bars and mugged when followed out of the bars by the people drugging them uh i get it i can confirm as a former young drunk guy leaving a bar i was super susceptible to being you know taken advantage of anything you could done anything to me on several occasions also grew up in the roofie era where women got taken advantage of uh, not by me of course and that you know women go missing every day lots of women and people of non-white races that never make the news so i can see how this could come across a bit tone deaf that's okay allow that to continue for a few seconds as i just like to thank everyone for not raping kidnapping or mugging me and would like to take this time to tell people 
to stop doing that to people. Yeah, it's not you, nice. You had your chance with me. <laughs> yeah. You know, I remember being at the bar with Mark in college, and like he'd always be saying to the hottest girls there, like, as we're leaving, "You're not gonna suck it, are you?" Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> don't. You don't better not. Yeah. I'm so vulnerable right now. <laughs> Never worked. Yeah left him a key uh there, <laughs> there is no foul play. <laughs> don't follow me <laughs> there's no foul play suspected in riley's death so just another river death kid walked into the river i guess nothing to see here that's your bad news of the week. all right telling you man he saw that river and said i could clear it yeah <laughs> yeah i think it happens a lot you're right Pat. i mean guys see that rush in water and they just think they can conquer it and i just start a couple hundred feet up 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 shoreline could be Count for the flow. Could be that. That's All right, guys. Uh, I want to talk real quick about um, probably the smartest and safest investment that you can make. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever came across a gold millionaire, but they're real. They're guys that usually start investing in gold when you thought it was too late to invest in gold. But then it wasn't, and they did, and then the gold just keeps going up. Gold go up. That's what it is, guys. Gold. Gold's like the notebook. It's never too late. Gold go up. Uh, there's no better long-term investment against inflation, depression, right? Mm -hmm. It's a hedge. Get after it. And uh, Noble Gold Investments is the gold IRA company that America's trust. The founders of Noble Gold have more than 20 years of combined experience in buying gold and silver, okay? And they've secured more than a billion bucks in precious metals for their clients. What's up? Hedge against inflation, economic downturn, defense, all that stuff. Great tax advantages, too. Um, these are safe haven assets. And, uh, you know, they're uh, go government proof, right? <laughs> gold mm -hmm. can't be printed like money. Not yet. Right? Is a, is a, there's a, well, no, it's never going to happen. That's going to be fake gold. Um, yeah, there's two paths, guys. You can choose between a tax advantage gold IRA or have physical gold delivered to your door. I've got some gold right now in my safe. So mm -hmm. invest in some gold, <sighs> something you can hold. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com slash hard factor to get started. Don't wait. That's noblegoldinvestments.com slash hard factor. A gold back IRA sounds mm -hmm. a pretty good. Um, okay. First, I'm going to say this. Global warming, not real. Everyone knows that. But uh. if you if you live in California, you're fucked uh, for housing insurance. State Farm will discontinue coverage for 72,000 homes and apartments in California starting this summer. That's 3% of their entire insured homes in Ooh. California. Uh, nine months ago. They stopped issuing policies in the state completely for home insurance. All state stopped issuing homeowners insurance policies to new customers in California in 2022. Why is this? Well, uh, where the wildfires is, which is a grow and growing area, people keep rebuilding there. Um, like it's happened maybe six times. I don't know how long the cycle's been going, but it just repeatedly happens. Like shit gets burned down. You're like, this is where I live. This is where I used to live. I like it here outside of the occasional once every three year fire that burns down my entire neighborhood it's really nice it's perhaps the most beautiful place to live california but uh the insurance companies are saying no mas and that's really bad for a number of reasons not only if you're looking for housing insurance in california but the insurance companies those are data driven companies y'all uh they know more about why they should be someplace uh pretty much than any other company like whatever the insurance companies do that's that's writing on the wall, so to speak. Uh, Can you Louisiana, blame them though? No, you can't blame them. You can't blame them. It's just I think it's a tough you beat. You join them, like you join them. It was a tough beat if you're living there. You're like, well, <laughs> boy, you're an idiot. Is, you yeah. got to get out of there. Honestly, this is but a I tough get, role. This is a tough role reversal for when the Californians were all saying this about the Gulf Coast. Well, Gulf Coast, same situation, right? right? Louisiana, uh, right? But they're, they're in this, literally the same boat, casting stones yeah. from a glass house. Who was saying that? Cal the state of California, California made a statement. They made yes. a, all of them. All of them did. Will unfortunately, uh, Flor it's not a glass Flor house. Will to, 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 to a couple home. guys from California. It's, like, <laughs> it's an uninsurable home. It's, yeah, it's a house that burns. Yeah, a, lo a lot of people are going without one uninsurable home and another. Yeah. A lot of people are going without. That's what they're doing. Um, but look, it's it's just fucked, man. Like uh, apparently, Colorado, certain places, same deal. Louisiana, absolutely the case. Florida, absolutely the case. Um, if you're a coastal homeowner, uh, you might want to, well. You probably already know, but 
if you're aspiring to be a coastal homeowner. Well, Pat, what I'd read is that a lot of this is caused by inflation, actually. So the, a lot of it's caused by inflation. Yeah, basically, the inflation has it's become hyperinflation to the point where <laughs> they can't insure places that are prone to have a lot of natural disasters because it just costs too much to replace the homes now. Pat's that's just true. rubbing salt in the wounds of people that already know, knew this. No, that's true. I mean, it's really it's really not for you guys, <laughs> you rich motherfuckers who have homes in in uh, fire pass. It's for the rest of you normies. Don't you're never going to get there. So, so stop dreaming of California. Um, real quick, guys, mm -hmm. this is really interesting. There's this marathon I've never heard of. Kate told me about it over the weekend. It's called Barkley Marathons. And the uh, first woman ever completed the marathon mm. uh, over the weekend, 40 year old Par or Jasmine Paris. She's a Brit. And uh, just quick aside, I mean, the reason this is news is because it's an insane fucking marathon. Uh, ap apparently, cool. the guy. Seen, have we seen her vagina? Have we seen her no. vagina? That's her there. No, no, I don't think so. She's, a, she's, she's a, a bottomless marathon. marathon. Yeah. No, it's not a bottomless marathon. Let me finish. It's hard. No. Yeah. It's just a hard marathon. Okay. Oh. Uh, she. Uh, Okay. You have to do five laps, okay, around it's the topless. No, not topless. Clothes. <laughs> well, you could probably be topless if you want it. It's in the yeah. woods. It's in the woods, man. You got to do five laps with the Frozen Head State Park in Tennessee. It's between 100 and 130 miles of like insanely rugged terrain. But the reason that they do this marathon is great, right? It's, so it's inspired by James Earl Ray, the man that they say assassinated Martin Luther King Jr., but his family says did not. Uh, he escaped from prison in the 70s. And uh, essentially, the founder of this marathon uh, was like, how far did it get? And uh, I guess Ray got eight miles over the course of 54 hours um, in the same wilderness area after escaping from prison. And the uh, the founder of this marathon was like, that's fucking stupid. I could do better. So then they launched this marathon. Um, yeah, it's yeah. cool. It's got weird rules. Like it, it kicks off when the organizer smokes a cig. There's right. all kinds of strange rules. You have to find five books or something, right? Pat? Yeah, so your your bib five? number, you got to find. That's how they know you completed it. Your bib. There's five books hidden, and you got to rip the page from that book with that corresponds yeah. to the bib number. How James many black Earl people? How many black people do you have to kill? Yeah, uh, I mean, James mm. Earl, dude, you need didn't to dig hear. in here, Wes. The the oh. the kings accused okay, of right. Do not believe that James Earl Ray killed Martin Luther King Jr. Very well, similar circumstances to the JFK you know? assassination. Anyway, I digress. Wow. Interesting marriage. Well, good for really her. Pretty... Do you believe it? No, I, I don't believe he killed Martin Luther King Jr. Hmm. No. Next marathon yeah, better but... be a bottomless marathon on the show. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I was just wondering if she might maybe have you know something else down there. This tired lady who just competed a feat that only 19 other humans have competed. <laughs> yeah. No, was yeah. Impressed. Show us those. Let's smell it. <laughs> all right, now show us your vagina <laughs> before we get give you that medal. Yeah. She uh, <laughs> she made it just under. Uh, 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 one more quirky <laughs> rule with a hundred seconds to spare. You know the world we live in. Yeah. Oh, really? A hundred seconds to spare. That's a, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, good for her. It's it's one of the hardest races in, in just the world. enough time to derobe. Yeah, they She's said an Pat, ultra marathoner. Exactly. They said it was like it's like uh, ascending Everest twice. That's a difficulty. It's not. Yeah. yeah. It's it's insane. That is intense. Um. Well, speaking of fitness, uh. Field of Greens is the healthiest thing I do every day, mm -hmm. and I want you on the journey with me. Uh, it's literally one scoop a day. It tastes yep. great. Uh, I've been I've only dived into the wild berry flavor, which is delicious. I mix about half water, half OJ, shake it up in the bottle they provided, um, and it's completely improved my life. Um, this is nutrition the way nature intended. So honestly, more energy. Um, the One of the biggest things I've noticed besides the energy is that I've been taking this the smoothest, cleanest shits I have um, it's in got a long time. In it. Yeah. I mean, my stomach I was hoping is... hoping you'd talk about that. Yeah, top yeah, notch. I mean, you can pretty much save on toilet paper, Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like clockwork. Um, he looks down and he says, that was top notch. Yeah. I've taken a few pictures. I th I've taken a few pictures to send send to you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Top notch, but I just did. Huh? I haven't fired them off yet. Um <laughs> It's radically different. Uh, each organic fruit and vegetable was medically chosen to support heart and vital organ health. I trust Field of Greens to keep me healthy. I promise you're going to love this product. Uh, but if for any reason you don't, they'll give you a 100% money back guarantee. I got you 15% off your first order. We do. Plus free rush shipping. Visit fieldofgreens.com. Use promo code HARDFACTOR. That's promo code HARDFACTOR at fieldofgreens.com. Fieldofgreens.com. 
And one of the things the guy who did the uh, the call with us said that a lot of times these these health, these all in one powders, they boil it and then they they make the powder out of it, which depletes all the nutrients. These guys right. freeze their vegetables and then they like just pound it into smithereens. So all the nutrients stay in there and it's That's the best tight. way to possibly do it. Yeah. Made in That's the tight. U.S. too. Yeah. 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 Um, so solid for real. Very good. It's a great product. I highly recommend it. Um, guys, there's all sort of strange like mental disorders and syndromes out there in the world. Uh, you got ones like the walking corpse syndrome or cotard delusion. You ever hear that? Huh? It's it's where you I think like that part of your body um, or body parts are dead or dying or don't exist. It's a it's oh. a in, the, in your head. Um, then you got the auto brewery syndrome, which we've talked about. Where you just, Wait, Wes, you somebody who thinks that their limbs are dying is a cotard. It's called Cotard I got this delusion. Cotard over here. Yep. God cotard doesn't delusion. even know he's got all his limbs. <laughs> cotard delusion. Hey, come on here, Cotard. Tell us what's on your mind. <laughs> hey, no. Hey, which one of your arms is dead again, Cotard? Hey, Co hey Cotard. <laughs> Explain oh, to him your no. theory about your arms, Cotard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a fun new word. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, then, of course, ABS auto brewery syndrome, which we've covered on the show, where your your gut just makes its own alcohol. It ferments in there. Yeah. Um, you've got the great, uh, persistent genital arousal disorder or PGAD, where you just have spontaneous, persistent genital arousal, um, with or without organ or orgasm or, yeah, uh, teens. yeah. Um, and <laughs> it, it just happen anytime. It's yeah. like narcolepsy, but you just, all of a sudden you're just aroused. I'm going through a rough patch, honey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you, then you've got, um, Hutchinson Gilford progeria syndrome. Um, you might recognize what that yeah. looks like. Oh, um, sad, tough one. Yeah, here's another yeah, okay. example. Oh. Makes you uh, look like a Martian a bit. Here's another. Yeah. Ex here's another sad. example. The side kick from D Antwood. There's bad. another one. Another example of what it looks like. I was so bad when they. There's another up one. On TikTok Live. Yeah. Whoa. And then there's another right, example. So what's this one called again, Wes? Why progeria? Um, and uh, okay, and then um, there's one more. It's called Alice in Wonderland. To, that's an easy one to go over. You'll remember picture. that one from now on. Yeah. Um, Alice in Wonderland syndrome, which uh, it's it's where you feel like your your body parts are either smaller or larger than they actually are. Um, it's an alteration of visual perception um, and, and objects. So it's kind of weird. And um, the one we're going to talk about today, a new one, it's called uh, prosopometaphorposia or popsia for popsia or PMO. And it's a rare. Potard. Yeah. Prosomorphoporcia. Um, hey, and Cotard, walk over here and tell us how your legs don't work. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. Why she doesn't even know. Watch. <laughs> look at him walking over here. And this one's fucked up. It's, uh, it's the rare neurological disorder which causes faces to appear distorted in shape, size, texture, or color, a.k.a. when I look at people, I see demons. Whoa. Um, yeah. Pretty fucking crazy. Came across so, some porns that were like this the other day. Really bummed me out. Yeah. So. Yeah. Notice it's, they're usually Asians or Jews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With the when they when they get the when they go demon. These two on examples. These yeah. 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 Um, so that's what they look like. Um, and there are fewer of 100 uh, published cases of PMO. And they, they say it's like a dysfunction in the brain network that handles facial, facial processing. And they really don't understand what the fucking triggers are. Um, now, the crazy thing is that this can happen to anyone. Like the case study in the article, this guy uh, right here uh, named Victor Shira, who says he woke up one day and started seeing demons. Quote, mm. My first thought was I woke up in a demon world, and uh, that's a scary conclusion yeah. to come to. Hey, did they just uh, keep bringing his, uh, his his picture back up real quick? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. They made sure he wasn't on ayahuasca. Right, <laughs> right, right. And... It's it's tough when a guy's got a <laughs> got a uh, a single side earring, a handlebar yeah. mustache, a uh, down on the cowboy cap, and long Dude, hair. A line of coming in line saying, <laughs> saying that he's got some sort of facial distortions, yeah. and he looks like the guy you'd approach at a festival. He's an American shaman. Really, yeah. really good MDMA. Yeah, yeah. He, look, exactly. he looks like a yeah. demon hunter. Yeah, he does. Yeah. So um, I woke from my demon hunting slumber. <laughs> I was in the world of demons. Um, he then said, he, he said, he, he said, I was really freaking out at that point. I was going to have myself committed, uh, which, you know, I would have jumped off a building. Um, 
now they did say that that Victor's uh, case, unlike others, had some kind of, you know, maybe, uh, uh, you know, causes. Uh, one, he had carbon monoxide poisoning four months ago uh, before the before the uh, PMO started. Yeah. And then he endured a significant head injury at the age of 43 while trying to unjam a handle on his trailer. He fell back, oh, wow. hit his head on the concrete. They also said they have that he has a lesion on the left side of his brain, um, but they really have no idea what causes it in other people. Um, and yeah, lesions on your brain seems like a decent cause for yeah. uh, the the whole yeah. seeing demons thing for the yeah. PMO. No, it's is really it, is it everybody or just some people? No, so it's and it, and it it only occurs when he sees people in person. Like if you show him a photograph, it won't happen. It's but, usually my ex wife. <laughs> he went to Chinatown and freaked out. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, and so the, the, the crazy thing is, is that people, researchers think that a lot more people are walking around seeing demons, oh, but no. they don't report it because they're scared of what people are going to think. If they go into the doctor's mm -hmm. office, be like, uh, I see demons. They think they're going to get like strapped into like a room. Um, well, I'm looking know. at one right now, doc. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's tough. Um, Not yeah. a demon, are you? Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. They said there's there's the, it's on the rise. He's, this researcher said we're seeing we're hearing from everyone new uh, somebody new every week or two. What? And the good news is that it fixes itself uh, most of the times, but sometimes it can take years to stop seeing demons. What do they faces. do? They tell you, hey, nobody's a demon out here. Or you, what you're really gonna have to treatment? trip your way out of this one, boss. Yeah, right. You tripped your right. way into it. Yeah, <laughs> but you never really forget. You might not see demons anymore, but you never really forget the fact that there's all these demons out there, right? right. Like they send you on an Aaron Rodgers darkness retreat. Yeah. But as Pat mentioned on the plus side, if you're into demon porn, it, this is amazing. It's like you get to fuck your own personal demon or get fucked by a demon wow. every time you have sex. So Sucky that's if you're into that, this is a blessing. Wow. Yeah. Not a lot of love making with demons. You're just going to jackhammer those demons. Yeah. It's a nice silver lining. Yeah, you it know? is. Right. Um, speaking of demons, uh, check out this zombie, this news story from Wasco, California. This is fucked. We begin with one of our key issues here at 17 News, pedestrian safety. Another pedestrian in Kern County is dead after being hit by a train. And now a bizarre video from the aftermath is circulating online. Details are still limited, but it happened this morning in Wasco. When first responders arrived, the pedestrian was found dead. What led up to the crash is still under investigation. By our count, this is the 15th pedestrian death in Kern County this year. Now we want to show you this video. We blurred part of it out because it may be too gruesome for some viewers. The witness who sent this to us says a man was walking around while holding a severed leg. It apparently yep. detached from the pedestrian's body during the train crash. KCSO says that man was arrested on charges of willfully removing a weirdo. remains and drug possession. This marks possibly the second time you hear it. a body part Whoa. has been removed from a Is crash scene. Town? Someone reportedly brought a hand to the Mission Homeless Shelter three weeks ago. Hey, give me five. A hit a pedestrian in East He's swinging it around. However, He's seems angry. There is cotardism, Mark. They have Mark. no record of that report. His, le his limbs are dying, and so if he eats an another limb, right. his cotardism no. will be gone. Yeah, so he went to the train wreck, wow. picked up a leg, and then he just started carrying around and eating it. And then he's like the oh, Highlander, except the Cotards, the Highlander Cotard. No one was yeah. watching the dead, the, the dismembered body on the train track, I guess, because um, this guy was able to get a hold of a leg. Dude, but, just uh, strolled right up and grabbed it. Yeah. When you're that <laughs> messed up, like you're not going to beat the first responders. You're always hanging out so close to the trains. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm already on the tracks. Yeah. That's fucked up, though, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's it tough. Yeah. Sorry to the person whose leg that is. That's tough. Yeah. I mean, that, it was probably tougher, you know, that get hit by the train. But yeah. Ooh. Careful. Yes. Move on. Let's move Careful on. Well, let's move, move, move on, on to some fun facts. I've got on. a lot of fun facts in Thank the show. Uh, but first, as I've said many times before, I should make a website about fun facts because I love them so much. And I know if I did, I would build it with Squarespace because this podcast is brought to you by Squarespace because Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easier to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time all in one place, all on your terms. With Fluid Engine, a next-generation website design system from Squarespace, it's never been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity, start with the best-in-class website uh, template, 
and then custom every design, customize every design detail with reimagined drag and drop technology for desktop or mobile. Stretch your imagination online with Fluid Engine, built in, ready to go on any new Squarespace site. Sell your products on an online store. Whether you sell physical, physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. Designs and use cases for every category of business. Customize your look on your website. Update content. Add features that fit your needs. You know, blogs, merch design. Uh, hosting videos and pictures squarespace can do it all okay go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch your website go to www.squarespace.com slash hard factor to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain and you're gonna have a beautiful website if you do that trust me absolutely mm-hmm. fact yeah. me daddy let's do it fun facts to end the episode first up did you know that jalapeno peppers are now less spicy because uh, Texas A&M developed a more profitable and less spicy jalapeno back in about 2002 that have now become the standard in commercial farming. Did you know that? It's great. I love that. Why? You, don't, you like less I like spicy, spicy peppers? I like spicy jalapenos. Yeah, but a, tr- a jalapeno a straight jalapeno is very good. spicy. That's right. That's right. Well, this is a no, way, but if you like spicy, it. you have to move to Serrano now. You have to You have right. to move to Habanero. Isn't the point of buying a jalapeno to get some spice? Why don't you get a poblano if you want a mild it, green it, pepper? It, hey, hey, haters, it's plenty spicy for you guys. Okay. <laughs> well, not for everybody. <laughs> most people are upset. I'll eat a most people don't like. Right most, most people don't eat milk, milk <laughs> on bread. You know, This is perfect. I mean, for the state of Texas to water down the heat of jalapenos, it's embarrassing. So if your peppers aren't as hot as you need to be, you can literally thank Texas A&M Aggies for that. Uh, they did it. They made your pep. They made your jalapenos. It's not a fun fact, Will. That's a bat. That's a suck fact. Is it it's to compete about- with Hatch? It's about the ha- the Aggies, though, so it's fun. Oh, Hatch, Hatch has no spice, dog. Get no, what I'm yeah. saying is that can, get people hatch love Hatch. Poblano, hatch has a little bit of spice. No, a little Hatch bit is like a Poblano. Midwestern girl compared to flavor, the uh, Colombian woman that is a dumbed down jalapeno. Dude, they're not that spicy anymore, apparently. So that's tough. That's tough. Go to Serrano if you if it's not hot enough for you. Also in nature, well, not on a farm though. Mark, maybe on a farm. Did you know that you may have to add small frogs to your list of natural enemies along with large spiders? It turns out that giant tarantulas, as you can see on the video I'm playing for you, uh, they often keep small frogs as pets. And they have a symbiotic relationship where the small frog will eat the bugs and keep them away from the spider's eggs in exchange for protection from the gigantic, terrifying, that's awesome, sh- giant tarantula. It's like a thrall for the <laughs> vampires so in, the, in the Blade series. Yeah, that's terrible. It's, yeah. It, the idea of any pet keeping a pet or any animal keeping a pet is scary as fuck. Yeah. Tarantulas. It made it yeah. even more terrifying, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Pretty cool, though. I mean, the- now every time I see a frog, I'm going to be like, OK, where's, so the, where's tarantula? the tarantula? <laughs> right. <laughs> It's it's a decoy. No, the these baby alligators are totally me. cool to play with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to watch out, Mark. So it, for real, small frogs not on your they're on your shit list officially. I'd say after that uh, fun fact. Finally, this Instagram video uh, claims that you can now buy a hand painted portrait of the Argentine blue billed duck sporting the longest penis of all vertebrate uh, animals at sixteen point seven inches erect. Is that and to scale? Wow. That's to scale. That's a that's a that's a real size right there. That's the uh the Argentine blue billed duck. It and looks like it looks like fucking like a scorpion shooting shooting uh his his arrow at you. Come that, here. That's get over here. here. Penis. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> scientists are baffled. They have no idea why this thing is as big as it is. Uh, you know, for its body length, the duck, the blue billed duck, man, of wingo. only eight to twelve inches. <laughs> the the seventeen inch man penis, wingo, is, yeah, <laughs> proportionally the largest by far, by far of any vertebrate. Okay, so uh, that's that, that duck's just leaving its key all over the place when it's getting out of the bar. Oh. Don't, don't, yes. <laughs> don't follow oh. me south. I had a few too many. Oh. They think don't it developed my enormous penis home. Yep. They think it developed <laughs> the freakishly big penis for that exact reason for sexual competition. And these ducks particularly love large penises. The ruddy duck, which is the UK USA cousin 
of the of the lake duck in Ar Argentina. They have extremely long penises as well, almost the full body length of their body. And they also lay the largest duck eggs to body size by far of any duck. So it's incredible little freaks of nature, these tiny ducks with massive reproductive organs. Yeah, that's cool. That's a fun fact. Yeah, that one really was fun. Now, another fun one. It's been a while since we talked about the most famous cop of 2023. Of course, I'm talking about Megan Hall. Megan Hall of Laverne, Tennessee. There she is. She was fired with at least six other cops for having sex with them. But fun fact, unlike the other officers, Megan ended up getting a $500,000 settlement from the city last week because according to the final ruling from the city board settlement and uh, News Channel 5 Nashville, quote, Hall, the lone female officer on second shift and a rookie, she said she was manipulated by her male superiors, including the police chief, to the point where she participated in sexual activity. In the culture of intimidation, she felt she had no choice. I got a picture that asked her to get yeah. the co cock height. I yeah. buy it. Yeah, yeah, that one picture is very regrettable, huh? Isn't yeah. it? Where she knelt beneath the the oh, um just the nestling their packages mm -hmm. on either side. All of the her top forehead. leadership. Yeah, <laughs> just they were resting. <laughs> Resting nah, their what, bellies and packages on our back. Willie, I, I buy that, though. I buy that. There's, there's something up if you're a freshman rookie, female officer alone, oh, it's, it's and a you're tough banging situation. everyone. There's, it's a tough yeah. situation for her. I mean, there's she a made a couple of those bangs you didn't want to do. Sure. She made milkshakes out of milk, I guess. Um, uh, but, you know, anyways, getting paid the, the 500 grand. Um, glad she Give got it to paid. her husband, though. Please. Yeah. Hope she got to celebrate the win. I was going to say, Pat, what do you guys think she did with that 500K? Sky's the limit. You know? She's got to celebrate. Leave her husband. Um, she totally banged that lawyer, too, right? I mean, that, that was part of taking the case. I think it's all behind her now, guys, oh, right? Okay. We got to say, Megan says she's going back to school. Yeah, she's a changed woman. I mean, it's all behind her. So, settlement done. New person, right? Uh, I think. I think she's going to be in detention. <laughs> turning over new leaves in 2024. Yeah. Thank you. We're turning over a new leaf on this show. It's the end of the show. Thank you for listening as always. Thank you for supporting the pod. Hey, if you need more Hard Factor, go to patreon.com slash Hard Factor. Three weekly bonus podcasts there available on top of the daily free show. Get in there. Most importantly, have yourselves a great fucking day.